Thank you very much. This week's assembly is brought to you by British Science Week and 10 SE10 will be sat in here at the moment. So it's British Science Week this week and they suggested that the theme for this week should be demos. So we thought, all right, so we'll do an assembly and we'll have an assembly with some demos in it. But then I said to 10 SE10, what do you think the assembly should be about? And they said explosions. So then what we thought was, well, okay, we'll do explosions, but we can do explosion demos and we could do the science of explosions. So that's where we're at today. So to start, <coughs> A definition. Explosive. A substance that will burn up or decompose almost instantly, producing intense heat and a large volume of expanding gas. This rapid change of state is called an explosion. Depending on its nature, an explosive may be detonated, set off or exploded by applying heat, such as a flame or a spark, by shaking or by striking. The sharp report of an explosion is due to airwaves set in motion by the explosion's force. We need three things for our explosions today, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to be needing fuel. We are going to be needing oxygen. There's 20% oxygen in the air around you right now, so that's handy. And we're going to need an ignition. In our first explosion demonstrated by Miss Ahmed, we have propan tool as the fuel. We have oxygen in the air around us, and we have the whoosh bottle. We have the whoosh bottle. <laughs> Thank you, Miss Arlen. Where's a round of applause? She's so whoosh bottle. First time of asking. So we've got our fuel in the propane tool on. We've got the oxygen, 20% oxygen in the air around us. We've got the products, water and carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide, not such a good product. A greenhouse gas contributes to global warming. Let us have a look at our second type of explosion. The fuel this time icing sugar. The sort of sugar that you would use to ice your cake with. We're going to react that icing sugar, which is really made of glucose, again with the 20% oxygen in the air around us. Have a look at the products, ladies and gentlemen, water again, and carbon dioxide again, greenhouse gas. Dr. B, are you ready? No. He's not ready. <laughs> Let's have a drum roll, I think, this time. Do we get a drum roll? Drum roll! Drum roll! It might go again, it might go again. Go again, go again. Dangers of baking cakes, ladies and gentlemen. Now, if we try and blow those out. Ooh, the next one. We'll blow it out. We'll blow it out. The next one, uh, we've got balloons filled with hydrogen. Check out the products, ladies and gentlemen. We've got the fuel hydrogen, we've got the 20% oxygen in the air again, but what's missing from the products? What's missing from the products? Carbon dioxide. No greenhouse gas. This is why hydrogen is described as a clean fuel. We get a nice explosion and the only product is water. None of that <laughs> greenhouse gas. <laughs> Thank you, Miss Ahmed. <laughs> appropriate to take you back to the original slide and just highlight the bit in bold at the end. The sharp sound or report of an explosion, so that's the bang that you've just heard there, is, uh, is, is due to airwaves set in motion by the explosion force. You can't normally see airwaves, but here, Miss Ahmed has an air zooka. And with an air zooka, you most certainly can see the airwaves. Because here we've got a smoke machine. So we could fill our air zooka 
Maybe it was other side mist, other sides. <laughs> other side? No, that's right, that's right. We can fill our air zooka with smoke. Alright, we're good to go. See if we can get some smoke rings flying over your heads. Oh, closer, see if you can get some. See if you can get Mr. Mabs. Mabs, Mabs. <laughs> And so with the air zooka, we can see those airways as they're travelling through the air. And ladies and gentlemen, that, on British Science Week, is the science of explosions. We hope you enjoyed the assembly, and we wish you a good Science Week inside. Thank you very much.